Hello, everyone. Welcome back to PEI Pen Guy, episode number... 200 and something. I, I think it's like 260 something. We've made a lot of videos. <laughs> um... <laughs> So we have a, 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 well, an unboxing. A box. Unboxings aren't the most successful videos we have, but, but I really fun. enjoy them. And I've been kind of looking forward to this one. We this have two is, inks today. Yes, and this is sort of my, last week was Fountain Pen Day. You could say this is my Fountain Pen Haul. Happy or, Fountain Fount Pen Day, everybody. That was last, what, Thursday? Yeah. I don't know, but um, whenever you're seeing this, yeah. I hope you guys had, we hope you had a great Fountain Pen Day. Yeah. We, did you do a video for it? I did a little video, but nothing major. We should have done something. I, I didn't get a lot. Next Fountain Pen Day, maybe. And also, last weekend in Toronto was Scriptus. Scriptus, can't just leave that, that's okay. Uh, Scriptus is a pen stationary fountain uh, you know it's a I stationary always, show in toronto i will say i always love when the packaging has the weird little crinkle cut cardboard that is cool yeah. i don't know why but i hmm. love er, not cardboard it's just brown paper Look but that. i love whenever they do that so today we have two inks here so and they are wonder pen exclusive reveal oh, oh it's <laughs> in plastic wrap sorry that's not gonna be the fancy reveal that i was hoping for but yeah. it will have to do for reveal we we'll oh, yeah. 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 pull it. it apart so what we have is a wonder pen exclusive that came out um at, at scriptus last week and they are dominant industry inks. Um, Wonder Pens had also last year done a, a, a special ink with Wonder uh, with uh, dominant industries. They did tuna, uh, uh, ginger chicken, and I'm just tuna gray. Very carefully and this year, cutting this so it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I know you like to keep boxes and yeah. weird stuff that I don't fully understand, mm -hmm. so I'm being careful to cut the label. So one is called one Tuna and Olives, and the other one is called Chicken in the Sky with Diamonds. Chicken in the Sky with Diamonds. I don't know why, but... Lucy in the Sky I... with Diamonds. So Chicken and Tuna are the two shop Okay, cats. so there's kind of lovely... I, I'm excited for the tuna because I love the colors. Well, let's see. Um, so anyway, what happened is... So Last year, the colors were based on the colors of the cat. the box. Yeah. This is a nice, like, little bag that they come in. And it comes with this little sort of a... Uh, what do you I call it? I love the shape of this. I really like the the design of the packaging for That's Dominant Industry. Beautiful packaging. Um, That's in focus? Yeah. Yeah, it if is. you look, this is a lovely bottle. And it says exclusive. It, it's fairly cold because it just came in the mail. Here on PEI, it's pretty yeah. cold outside, and it just arrived. But it's not but frozen, not too cold. These are lovely so, bottles. Exclusive, dominant industries. This is tuna and olives, and that one yeah. is. I'm gonna just. Yeah, so they come with these little pipettes, which I think is a great idea for if you want to put a in if you're trying to put ink into a cartridge or. A Especially good for converter. if you're like newer to the community and don't have a stockpile of pipettes yeah so let's see what that one is we're gonna do a little ink let's be careful yeah now these it might be full Sorry. i'll get it here i'm gonna just it. cut the head uh, no, this should be all right. okay there we go i'm gonna open that because it's actually probably full to the brim and we don't want it to splash oh, okay there we go all right. You just gotta be careful when opening a new ink because hmm. it typically is a bit hard and you don't want yeah. it to splash everywhere. Okay. That's a lovely kind of <laughs> olive green. Yeah, this one, which mixed one is this? Mixed with some more turquoisey shades. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a lovely ink. You like that one? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. I'm a sucker for a good turquoise, and that's just like a turquoise mixed with an olive green. Is what it looks yeah, like that to does me. Look turquoise, doesn't it? A nice, um, nice. Uh, so this is based we on have that as well. This glass pen, which we are going to be using to write with. Let's this notebook I've been using lately for 
um, whenever I'm doing okay, a video. I got this going. Yeah. I'm just so, going to... Like... <laughs> I'm bad at writing with a glass yeah, pen. I'm just going to dip it again. Just a sec. Sand. I'm going to write down what it is. Okay. There so, we go. Yeah, glass pens aren't just the easiest. Just sign my name. But they're good for like when you're um, swatching or <clears throat> testing a new ink. Because you don't have to ink up your whole pen. Yeah, so chicken in the sky <gasps> with diamonds. That so, is lovely. Yeah. Ooh, as it like as it um dries, it, it turns very nice. <laughs> like brings out a lot more of that olive green. I'm just gonna put chicken. Yeah. So it's dominant in this. Oh. If we actually look at how it's like when we set down the Q-tip, as you can see, it kind of at the center is very olive green and then spreads out into a nice faint turquoise, yeah. which I love. Th this one's very nice so far. Actually, as it's drying, it's I can see some other colors appearing. I'm wondering if there's a bit of shading going on or is there any sheen? No sheen. I don't, I don't know what exactly. Dad. Uh, well. So it's yeah. as it spreads out thinner, mm -hmm. it just appears to take on a different color. Almost like how a lot of food colorings just look black until yeah. they actually. So there's a green, but I'm seeing some, not necessarily, I'm seeing some shading going on there. Uh, or not necessarily sheening, but it, it, it's t there's a bit of gold but it's not particles. It's not shimmering. Are glass pens supposed to be flat at the end or round? Uh, that one's probably... I got that one secondhand. They, they wear. They, they wear. Hmm. So that's a lovely ink. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying that one out. So the, these colors are based on the eyes of cats. Did you know that? <gasps> the oh color, my gosh. Eye, eye color of the cats in the I studio. I will state, speaking of cats in studios, yeah, I, right uh, now we have our chaotic... Kitten. Little bean. There's our kitten. She is very chaotic <laughs> and very sweet and purring very loudly on my shoulder. Yeah. And now this one is the one I was kind of. Oh, Ooh, that's a very olivey green. Is that I the one? The oh. other one had hues of olive green, but that one's just like. Wait, wait I got a little mixed up here. Olive. It's a little chaotic here. I don't know what's going on. Just a second. Is that the one I just did? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, I think sure? it is. It's too olive. Oh, that's. Yeah. Interesting. I thought the other one had like hints of olive green and a nice turquoise, but no, that's just straight olive green and it is lovely. Yeah, that's a nice one. They're both really nice. That oh, is, um... That is lovely. I like that one. It's quite different than a lot of things I already have, you know? Um, is a I, should, good I forgot color. to do a little swatch here. here um, I'm just... Get this going. Mm -hmm. Just make sure. That's a very that goes down green. really well, even mm -hmm. on like a glass pen. Mm. If you look at that, that goes down so well. And this well. one is called Tuna and Olives. So Tuna is one of the cats. Tuna is the gray cat. Uh, so Tuna has this color. And ginger would be, that's the eye color, eye color of the ginger colored cat. So oh, that's sweet. I love cats, as you can tell at the PEI penthouse. <laughs> we have a mild obsession. Yeah. We have three at this moment and a dog. Yes. So. <laughs> and two pen kids. It's nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to move the cat so she's not. I really being... like the, I really like the, that green actually. Mm. I really like them both. Yeah. So anyway, what one do you prefer? Yeah, let us know in your comments which one have you tried. Um, I am a sucker for a good turquoise, mm -hmm. so I gotta go with the nice turquoise mm -hmm. with like minor hints of olive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The olive is beautiful, but I bet you there'd be some okay. nice line variation. I'm gonna. I think I know what pen I'm gonna put this that in. This one's my favorite. That one's your favorite. What's your favorite? This one. Fair and I'll enough. tell you why. I do like intense colors. Mm. Um, that I think that in the right pen is going to be very nice. I would put that in a pen, say like my Pilot Custom Seventy Four that has a Cute. soft medium nib. Uh, this I'm actually going to put maybe in my Lamy Studio with a medium nib, and and I'm, and I'm looking forward to trying that. We'll, we'll do a more in-depth video with writing samples and things yeah, like that. Yeah, just get these up uh, right at the close moment. to the camera. Yeah, right, right at the moment, this is just a fun little opening. That's a 
anyway, so I really like, I've never been to Wonder Pens. I've ordered from them. I watch the, I follow their social media. I just like their, you know, it's a small company. They're doing cool things. They have, they have cats. cats. <laughs> and, Tell um, us if you like their stuff. Recommend anything if you will. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just like supporting a small company. Also, those but are We're actually bottles. lucky. We're very lucky in Charlottetown to have a, a really great pen shop. Well, bookstore slash, slash stationery shop. And I will store. say. And uh, you love the bottles? These bottles. These bottles are classic. So, uh, Dominant Industry, I believe, is... Trying to get Where's, focus. Where is Dominant Industry? I keep, I'm so confused lately. I've been doing all these different inks. Um, we'll, we'll find that out. Taiwan? Or, or is it Korea? Anyway. Um, yeah, so... I don't know if they'll do another one next year. New, another uh, exclusive inks. But um, for me... Uh, it's always fun to see new products like this. Um, it's such a rabbit hole that you fall down when you're into inks and, and pens and stationery. Always interesting, cool brands. Um, but yeah, I don't actually know if I... Ha you know what? I do have one other ink that reminds me of that. And that would be the um, Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss Green. But I, I kind of been a while since i looked at the, the the peter moss green i kind of like that a lot more it's just i bet you that when i that's gonna have some very nice line variation i like the peter moss we did yeah. a video on that one yeah we did yeah we all link to it probably yeah it's a that's one of my favorites yeah but this is a very very nice green mm -hmm. and is that all we have to say i think that's all we have to say hope i hope you all have, have a, great a day. lovely day thanks for this watching this little kitten says goodbye <laughs> And that's soot. That, that is cat. soot, and she's wanting to drink the water, which you're she, not going to. Okay. She says goodbye. Have a great day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.